friends. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. So today I'm going to share with you my absolute favorite products I've purchased over this calendar year. So I know many of you are starting to already do some holiday gift shopping and also maybe looking to purchase some things for yourself. And so I just wanted to share all the different things. I basically went around my whole house and picked out the things that are my favorite, favorite things that I've bought this year. And I just went to my bathroom, I went to my bedroom, I went to my kitchen. So I've got a lot of different products that I'm gonna share with you today and they're only my favorites. So if I talk about this product today, it's because I really, really, really like it. So I am gonna start with the kitchen. So one of my favorite purchases this year for the kitchen is a new knife set. We have had a knife set since forever ago. I think I had it for like eight or 10 years and it just got so dull and we thought, do you have to spend a thousand dollars to get a good knife set? And we actually found a really nice one. This was about $200 on Amazon and this is the Kirschman and it's got in it a eight inch chef's knife, a seven inch Santuco knife, an eight inch bread knife, an eight inch carving knife, a five inch utility knife, a three and a half inch paring knife, six steak knives, scissors. By the way, these scissors are like the best. I love these kitchen scissors. So I have to say extremely sharp knives, very, very high quality. And it was such a good purchase in my opinion. Okay, one more thing about the kitchen. I bought a set of these wonderful stemless wine glasses and they have a silicone cover, which you can actually take off if you want just stemless wine glasses. The interesting thing is, is that I actually have some orange juice going here. I use them for not just wine, but all different kinds of drinks. And I just like how they feel in my hands. There's just something about them. Plus the silicone covering when you have a cold drink kind of gets the condensation so that it doesn't feel too slippery. And it's safe to have when the kids are around. I actually bought these for last holiday season last year when my brother's family came over and they have little kids and just didn't want any broken wine glasses on the floor. So these have been really nice and I've been using them all year long. I love them. I got them on Amazon. They are very reasonably priced. I think they're about $20 for a pack of six if I remember correctly. But just like everything else, if you're interested in any of these products and you wanna look them up, I'm putting them all, all the notes and links in my description for this video. So you'll just click below the video to read the description. Okay. So those are the two things from the kitchen I wanted to share. Now I'm gonna switch over to entertainment. So I think I've mentioned this before, but I personally like video games and I know that a lot of you probably don't play video games, but I bought this Switch console this year and I know these are hard to get. In fact, my brother and I went in together and purchased one of these for my mom, who's almost 70. And let me tell you something, she has been playing Animal Crossing because that is my favorite game of this year and it's kept me very entertained when I was having some bored moments. And it's just a really, really fun game and you don't have to be a certain age to play it. So I just wanted to mention, this is one of my favorite things I've bought this year and Animal Crossing is one of my favorite video games and it's a fun game for someone of all ages so wanted to share that okay so moving towards clothing, I wanted to share with you my favorite brand of socks. These I bought this year, this is two pair, and there's nothing special about how they look. I mean, I think they're cute, there's all different colors, but these are called smart wool socks. And these are my absolute favorite type of socks to wear. They're thin, but they're warm. And if I'm reaching for a pair of socks, I always reach for my smart wool socks. I have six or seven pairs of them and I love them. And the ones that I bought like several years ago, I still have, they last for years. So very good brand of socks. And then on a similar note, and I'm not gonna show you all my underwear, but on a similar note, the company is called Splendies. If you're looking for a subscription service, they're really good. I think it's like 13 bucks a month around, at least in the US, and they send you three pair of underwear a month. I think three a month is like a perfect time frame for me because by the time I'm like nine or 10 months down the road, I'll be throwing away underwear from like nine or 10 months ago. So I always have kind of the most fresh underwear in my underwear drawer. You can try different styles 
styles of underwear and you can kind of mix and match if you prefer to get the different styles or if you want all of one type of style you can choose that but anyways I really like them they're soft they're comfortable and they're colorful they're really fun and I think that's a really good subscription service to get for me anyways okay so I'm moving to the next thing which is beauty so the first thing I know the last several videos I have mentioned that this is one of my new favorite brands Bumble and Bumble and this particular thing is so so good for pixie cuts it is like hairspray it's called Bumble and Bumble hairdressers invisible oil soft texture finishing spray and let me tell you guys if you want your hair to be kind of set but want it to be completely flexible and soft I put it on my hair today and it feels so good but it feels like there's a lot of volume in my hair but it's very touchable this stuff is the best this stuff is the bomb it's kind of like hairspray because it's an aerosol but it's very very light so you don't get that kind of sticky hard crunchy feeling like you would with hairspray this is just a lot lighter of a product but it's great for pixie cuts and it's great for getting extra volume into your hair so a big five stars on this one okay now moving to some face products so I'm gonna talk about the face lotions I use. I got this face lotion for Mix Easy a couple months ago and I'm really, really liking the consistency of this. You can choose your own ingredients that you put in there. So you can choose the different qualities of what you'd like in a cream. You can even choose the fragrance that you want or no fragrance at all. It's a really good brand and I really like the consistency of the cream. It applies very nicely under makeup. The other cream that I really like and I kind of alternate between these two is this it confidence in a cream it's a thicker cream so I tend to put this on at night and I tend to put this mix easy under my makeup okay speaking of makeup when you want to take your makeup off I had started using my cellar water about over a year ago and I tried different brands and I got this brand this is Tarte micellar magic and it's nice because it's got a lid here and I just get those little cotton pads and I press down on it and it gets the little pad wet. I don't know what the difference is between this micellar water and the just maybe a cheaper brand because I think I have a L'Oreal micellar water. This just takes the makeup off better. I don't know what it is and I love the bottle. In fact, even if I didn't buy this again, I would just reuse this bottle and fill it with regular micellar water. But I really like this brand and I think whatever is in this formula, I definitely will be buying this again because it just takes the makeup off and your face feels clean and fresh and there's like no scent. It's, it's an amazing formula. Another thing, I finally found a face wash that I'm just in love with. This is actually, and I'm not like a really big Kylie Jenner fan, but but the Kylie Beauty products are, are pretty good. So this is called Kylie Skin and this is a foaming face wash. And honestly guys, I just keep this little bottle in my shower and every time I take a shower, I wash my face and it just gets your face completely clean and it's fresh and it doesn't sting your eyes. You can completely wash your face over your eyes and it's just, it gets the makeup off, it cleans your face and it's very clean and simple. I like it and there's not even a fragrance to this stuff. So it's a really, really good formula as well. And I've never been like, oh, I really love that face wash. I've never found a face wash that I really loved. This one's it. Okay, so I think we're down to perfumes and colognes. So this is my new favorite perfume. This is from Coach and this is called Floral Oudou Perfume. So it's the Coach floral version of their regular Coach perfume. And I think it's wonderful. I'm gonna it smells so fruity and flowery and it's just a wonderful fragrance and it's light and crisp and it's my favorite. I love it. I've been wearing it every day for the past three or four months. If you're looking for some cologne, say for either the man in your life or maybe the male in your family, this is from Yves Saint Laurent and I think it's their only cologne if I'm not mistaken. When I looked it up, it was the only one that I found anything about. So I think this is the only cologne they have. And and 
It's just a wonderful scent. Every time my husband puts it on, I'm just like, oh, you smell so good. It's a great, great cologne and it's got a wonderful smell. If I was to categorize the smell, it's definitely, I would say a lighter and crisper smell than some of the colognes that I've smelled. It's not spicy smelling. I don't know. I don't know even how to describe it. It just, it smells so nice and crisp and manly. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it's good. Okay, so now to hair styling tools. Both of these tools, you've probably seen me talk about both of these tools, and they're both from Callista. I have gone through many hot air brushes, and if you've seen my channel, seen some of my hot air brush videos, I did a video on this one, but I did not have this small attachment. So there's these attachments that come with these. This is called the Callista Style Dryer Custom Blowout Pro, but if you have a pixie cut, you need a smaller attachment. And so I ordered this not that long ago, but let me tell you, this is my favorite blowout brush, especially with the small attachment. I will be doing a video on this one coming up soon, but you have seen me use this one if you've watched any of my videos recently. This is such a great tool. This is probably my all-time favorite hair tool. This is the Callista Perfector Pro Heated Round Brush. And I got the smallest one, so I think it's half inch. But even my hair that I did today, you can put more gentle curls into your hair. It's just a really quick way to style a pixie. Put a few curls in that takes less than a minute. Put some product in and you're done. So it's easy to use. You can't burn yourself with it. It's pretty, it's functional. It's a great, great tool for a pixie cut or longer hair. Now, if you have longer hair than a pixie cut, I would suggest getting this, but with a larger head. Okay, now for the best part, I'm gonna talk about clothes. So I wanna start with some Land's End clothing. Land's End is probably one of my favorite brands of clothing. I'm actually wearing a Land's End outfit right here. And so you can see this is the shirt. I've got these skinny jeans that match. I work remotely, so I need to be comfortable. So the way I usually dress for work is I have like four or five pair of black leggings, but I get a comfortable looking professional top because I'm always on video in my remote meetings. I'm on video all day long. And so you can still look professional, but still be completely comfortable. One thing I like about Lands and Clothes is that they are so comfortable. I got this outfit that I'm wearing here with these skinny jeans that are the same color, this nice olive green but I have another complete outfit that's just a different color that's exactly the same and it's got this maroon top with these awesome pants now these pants are skinny jeans but they've got these stretchy waist so they're pull-on and they're high-waisted so one thing I like about these are they are actually jeans they're not just leggings and the waist is Pull up. So I like this because I don't know about you guys, but sometimes jeans bother my stomach, like when I'm sitting, and just like the buckle will bother my stomach. Now I've had surgery on my stomach, so maybe it's because of that, but I really do like the stretchy waist. So those have been a really good buy. And I've got several shirts that I bought this year from Land's End. And I can tell you that the quality is very, very good. Probably far better quality than most of my other clothes. So speaking of jeans, a good pair of jeans. I bought a pair of Levi. These are called 711 Skinny Jeans. And these actually do buckle in front just like most Levi's do. But these are extremely comfortable and they fit me well. Now, I am a bit short. I am five foot four about. And what happens with me is that women's regular pants always are too long on me. And so what I like about Land's End and also what I like about maybe more expensive brands, if you will, is that you can find petite sizes. So if you're 5'4 or shorter, you probably have the same problem as I do in that pretty much any pants that I would buy, unless they're just leggings, I have to get my mom to help me hem them up. But I have really enjoyed lately, if I do buy a pair of pants, I always go for the petite sizes. And if that brand doesn't have them, then I find another brand that has the petite sizes. But anyways, if you're looking for a good pair of skinny jeans, these 711 Levi jeans are my absolute favorite. Obviously, Levi has all sorts of different kinds of pants, but if you're looking for jeans in all different shapes and sizes and stuff, 
Land's End is a really good place to go for that. But if you're looking for just a regular pair of jeans and you're looking for some skinny kind of stretchy jeans, these 711s are really great. Okay, I have one final thing to share with you. I did want to say that the links that I provided to this outfit for Land's End as well as the two shirts I'm about to show you next, I also provided a link to the plus sizes just in case because if you're a plus size you can get exactly the same shirt that I'm showing here as well as pants they still sell them on their website all right these are some of my best finds now I actually filmed a video with this not that long ago but these shirts are wonderful shirts I think they're about $18 a piece they're on Amazon they have a bunch of different colors and I have two of them here my mom actually bought two or three of them and I saw her wearing one I was like oh I've got to get one of those what I like about them so this is the polka dot black one I like several things I like that they're three-quarter sleeves I like that they're wrinkle free they're very very soft there's a bit of stretch to them and I also like the length of them they go right at the hip if I stand up here they would go right under my hip here and so they're great to wear with something like leggings or skinny jeans or yoga pants but again this is typical of what I would wear to work because I'd be on video and it looks very professional on top and you can put whatever you want on bottom so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed listening to my spiel about all my favorite things that I bought this year and I hope you have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful week ahead and if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed I'd love to have you I know it's been a rough year but I do wish you guys the very best holiday season you can have so I will talk to you next time and have a wonderful day